JJ, are you telling me, fam? Are you telling me, fam? DJ's Lex, is that you? Right guys, Asim from MSL Performance here. We've got weekly vlogs in now because you guys have been commenting asking for longer videos and more vlogs throughout the week. So stay tuned with us. We're going to get more cars in, more tuning, more modifications. We've got a giveaway coming later this week at £500, so stick, stick around for that. And then we've got this lovely McLaren that we're doing a stage two on as well. We're going to get that out on the roads afterwards. So stay with me, we'll do some more tuning and we'll catch you in a bit. Get me. Right guys, so we've got the C43 in here with us today. Um, the car's having a map and dyno from us, a part of our map and dyno package. The car has also got um, some 200 cell Armitrix um, sports cats on there, installed on the vehicle as well, um, along with some K&M filters to go along with it. Um, what we're going to do is go ahead and do a stock run. Stay with us for more. Right guys, so we've just mapped the C43, it's making some pretty good figures. Um, as you can see, the stock run over here, it made 326 uh, real horsepower. Mapped now, it's making 418, so there's uh, quite a good difference there. Along with the same thing uh, as with the torque as well, so it's 368. It was making on the stock run. And now, mapped is making 517. Bro. No tables have turned. <laughs> just ruined my video. Have you done it yet? No, because you ruined it again. Have you ruined it, watch. You, you just that? ruined it all, bro. It's a bit like you didn't it. Come on, finish this. You ruined, bro. Right, guys, we've got this lovely McLaren 720S. It's a stage two already done by a previous garage. Customer's not happy with the vehicle. He's not got the full potential out of the car, so he's come to us for some mapping and some tuning. Uh, if you have a look, We've gone with the M Engineering Tune, which is what we run on our McLarens personally. It's got six switchable maps, so stick with me. And we'll get the ECU fitted back to this and we'll give it a start up and we'll see what maps he's got on it. Right guys, so we've just started the car up. We're just doing a quick oil level check, getting the car up to temperature and then checking the oil level, making sure it's all okay before we start taking it on the road and doing some testing and then putting it on the dyno to see what figures we produce. So stick with me, let me just finish this oil level check and then we'll get back to you. Right guys, so we've got the switchable maps on this McLaren. If you have a look here, we just press the cruise control stalk and we've got six different maps. If I run you through what the customer specified for his selections in his maps. Uh, stock file is on slot number one. On number two, we have got 99 run. On number three, we've got 99 run with pops, bangs and burbles. Slot number four, we've opted for a track version of the 99 run. And then on number five, we've got a valet mode just to limit the power if it's ever given to a valet just to drive it around. And then on number six, we've got MS109 for race fuel for when he's taking it out on the track. Stage two McLaren, it's got our M engineering tune, pops, bangs, flames, switchable maps, all that good stuff. So we're gonna run it now. Stick with us, we'll show you what it looks like on the dyno with all the flames and stuff. And yeah, should be a good one. Right guys, we've got this lovely C63 W204. It's already had our stage two package. The customer's come back for a upgraded steering wheel. So if you have a look, he's gone with a same shape steering wheel, but obviously the upgrade, so he's got the Alcantara sides. 
Alcatara airbag with red stitching and red stitching on the sides. He's gone with red carbon paddles and he's obviously gone with the LEDs at the top as well. Compared to his old steering which is a bit worn and a bit dated, he's going to get this changed now. So let me get this fitted. He's also having a map revision and a few other bits like underglow lighting and bits and pieces. So stick with me, we'll get this one done and then we'll get back with you. Right guys, steering wheel's all fitted, so as you can see, Cosmo's got the full upgraded wheel with the LEDs at the top. It obviously goes with his RPM, so if we give it a quick rev for you. Cosmo's quite happy with it. We're gonna send him on a test drive, make sure everything's okay, and then we're gonna carry on doing a few more modifications to it. Right guys, so we've got this GLA 45 back in today. Um, we previously did a stage two on it. So we're just checking the figures again now as he's recently done, um, I believe it's spark plug change. Recently done spark plug change. Um, so he's back in just to double check what, what he's running. So uh, stay tuned and see, see where we go with it. Right guys, customers come in, obviously he wanted Apple CarPlay fitted to his vehicle, he didn't have it before, so what we've done is we've put the full Apple CarPlay system into his car, put it into his OEM system with wireless Apple CarPlay as well, so he could keep his phone in his pocket and still have everything visible on the screen. Customer's very happy, he's driven two and a half hours to get to us, so he's going to head his way back, all is good, we'll catch you in a little bit. Right everyone, so we've done the ambient lighting package that we offer on this E63. Um, this is a pre faceless vehicle, but we've obviously put the facelift air vents and the lighting system in it. It all works with the original system, so if you have a look, if we change the colours within the original system, you can see it all changes inside. That includes the 3D speakers on the sides as well, so these turn out with the vehicle when you turn it on, and obviously you've got the upgraded sound with the Burmester units. And that's this one done. Stick with me, we'll get the next ones in. Right guys, we've got this lovely C63S, it's coming for our stage two package. So he's got the um, sports cats fitted to it, he's got intakes, and then he's coming for our stage two mapping. He's also got the OPF delete done on it as well. So stick with me, we're gonna get this one mapped and then we'll give you some dyno runs and we'll let you know how it goes. That's going to conclude our week at MSL, so thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and all of them things there. Um, our McLaren's come back now, it's got its lightweight HRE alloys on it, so stay tuned next week to see us do some flybys and a few draggy runs and bits and pieces with that. We'll catch you later.